so just a little quick commentary. We're at Ravna flat 2 C3, which began as a small cavity, which we excavated over the last three weeks. We're at the front of the excavation here. I'm just on top of the large amount of blocking fill material. That's loose conglomerate soil, clays. And I will take you to what we revealed yesterday. Empty cavities within the Ravna conglomerate. It's about one and a half meters high. Here it's three meters wide. There are some small stalactites on the ceiling, about seven centimeters in length. There looks to be animal droppings, typical in the cave. Somehow the animals have found their way in, maybe through some small gaps here, for example, they might lead to the surface. We're about 11 metres into the cavity here, and there is a hollow space on the ground. It looks like an object it may have once resided here, or it's a hollow an animal had caused. And here, the cavity gets a bit smaller. It's about 1 metre 70 in width, 1.5 metres high. Cool temperature, about 8 degrees centigrade. That might be one such hole an animal has burrowed. Here we see, I don't know if the video shows it, but there's been some kind of collapse on the ceiling material. Clearly been displaced from the roof of the cave. Here we have more stalagmites down on the floor, stalactites. This one's quite large, about 12 centimetres. It's about 10 centimetres tall. And it goes on and on and on. We're not going to pass this point at the moment because we don't want to damage any of the stalactites and stalagmites before we take them and remove them for sampling so we can age the cavity with these but, but you can see where the blue spot is pointing on the light we have more filling material that's blocked the f sort of north face of this cavity we're heading west at this point which is deeper into the hillside and away from the valley there are much larger stalactites and stalagmites at the back of this large cavity. Okay, so Ravna flat 2 C3, which enlarges the Ravna tunnels by several hundred meters. Thank you.